YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. A few weeks ago, I did a video about a backpack that I had purchased to replace my old EDC pack, and I was not very pleased with that at all. I ended up repackaging it and did a video you might have seen uh, about how displeased I was with that. Uh, one of the viewers that saw that suggested that I should check out Maxpedition products, and I did, and I found what's going to be my, my new EDC pack. I'm really pleased with it. It's the Tiburon, made by Maxpedition. It's 34 liters in volume, uh, and... Um, Seems like really good workmanship. There are a couple things in here that I'm kind of like, ah, you know, why they do that? Um, and I'll talk about those things as I go through it. Um, but overall, I'm really pleased with it. And Maxpedition seems like a pretty good company. Uh, the, their target audience seems to be kind of like, I think like city people that maybe go to L.L. Bean and, you know, get their Starbucks, but want to kind of picture themselves as being the James Bond sort of type. Well, not James Bond. That's not the right word. Well, here, look, here, here's a picture of it. This is the Lock Spire right here. So there's, there's this picture of this dude, and he obviously goes to the gym. But what they're selling, it, dude, that's a purse. You know, it's a purse for dudes. Uh, it, they've got a picture of him drawing a pistol out of it, but, dude, it's a purse. Sorry. But that doesn't mean... I can't like some of their products, and this one I think is really good. So I wanted to talk about it today. Uh, the first thing that hit me off the bat, and this is as compared to the other pack, is that it has woohoo zippers. I actually close all these little pockets and things, uh, and there are a lot. Uh, there's a lot of segregation going on in here, and not the uncool like Jim Crow kind, like the good kind about segregating your gear. Uh, I'm just going to pop in here. There's nice little pockets here to secure things. Um, I put some of my own little packages in here. The workmanship, like I said, is really nice and secure. Everything goes together really well. It's got these, uh, it's not, is that molly or is it just kind of molly-like? These little things for securing gear and stuff. You can like clip stuff onto it. Uh, I don't know if that's actually molly or not, but you know, whatever. It's, it's something nice. You can t attach extra things to the surface. I've already attached some extra things here. Uh, it's got good pockets on the side. I've got a water bottle in one, and the other side's got my scope and a flashlight. And what I like about these side pockets is that they're rugged. The, uh, so many side pockets on backpacks are just made of this mesh, and they, they rip. And this is rugged stuff. You can scrape that on things, and it's not going to tear apart. I really like that. It's got a little pocket right here up in the front, which is good for little things. I've got like a wallet in there. If you, if you ever mug me, my wallet. It's right in there, right in that little one. I've uh, got some little things in there, and it secures with a zipper, and there's a nice little flap over it to keep stuff out of there. There's some Velcro here. I guess you can put, like, patches. They, sh they In the book or the website, they showed putting an American flag patch there, so you'll remember what country you're from. Um, or if you're traveling overseas, they'll know who to target, I guess. <laughs> um, so I know there's a Velcro patch there. I like backpacks that have a lot of canvas space because I do a lot of hiking and I love putting patches of all the different places I travel to. There's no real space on this pack for that, especially because patches these days are these giant things. I wish they had like little ones like the, the Boy Scouts just to have because you can kind of put them around the sides, but everywhere you go it's always these giant honk and big things. So not a lot of space for that, but that's okay. Um, there are two very large pockets right in here. Uh, this one's got a nice stow area there and here. Uh, I've got things in there. And a zippered pocket in the back for flat things. I've got uh, my plant identification book and um, a Fresnel magnifying glass in there. It's, it sits down there really nice and snugly. Now, here's one thing I don't like about this pack. These zippers on here, they've got that little uh, loop on them for uh, securing a lock. As to why you need a lock on this backpack, I mean, it's made of canvas. If someone wants to get in there, it's going to cut through the sides. But they have these little zipper things with the, the lock um, uh, hole on them, so you could lock it up. But the way that they tether it is they tether it to the back side, so it pulls open easily. But as you try to pull it the other way, it backs the zipper up. And I've had these zippers before, and whenever they are like this, it always cocks the zipper and then makes the zipper rake across the fabric that's holding the, the uh, zipper section together, and that's always a tear point. Uh, and it disappoints me that they put that on this pack. The, the uh, Maxpedition says that they, are, they I, I don't know, maybe this is their slogan, they also call themselves, or whatever, AGR, Advanced Gear Research. You know, I don't know what kind of research they were doing into these zippers, but if you even use these once, you, and you've used a zipper in the past, uh, you pretty quickly know that those are going to start tearing. And these are going to get little uh, 
uh, tear marks all along here. Eventually they're going to break, uh, and that's going to be the first place on this backpack to break, I believe. What I'm thinking about doing is putting on a, a second hold on these. So one of these little zipper tabs would be for opening, and then the other one would be for closing, and that way the, the, th the things won't be uh, wrenching around and, and ripping the backpack apart. So I was a little disappointed about that just because... Got it. You know, if you've ever had a backpack before and you had these kind of zippers, you know that that's a weak point and they just, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. They've got a good zipper on this one. Nice, big, beefy zipper. That's the other thing is that a lot of these zippers are kind of small. The, the small zippers tend to, you know, have more problems than these big, beefy ones. I don't know why they didn't put big, beefy ones on the whole thing. I, did it save like a quarter? I'm not sure. Overall, I like the backpack. I don't mean to rip into it, but those are some things that kind of bug me. Another very large... Uh, compartment here, and this one's great. I've attached some things here. There's another storage compartment here, and there's a place for a uh, water bladder down here. I've got. I don't usually do the water bladder thing. I use a water bottle because it integrates with my my filters and things like that. Uh, but I, I in the water bladder hold, I've got my solar panel, and uh, oh, actually I put the plant identification book on that side. So got that in there, and there's also a lot of room for just general stuff in here. So that's happening. That's working out pretty well. Uh, the buckles on it seem pretty secure. The ergonomics of it uh, on my back, I have sensitive, I don't know, tendons or whatever. Like over here, whoa, there it goes. Over here on my neck, if I have a lot of weight on there or if it's pinching in a weird way, um, it doesn't even have to be a lot of weight. It's just if I get a, a pinch over my shoulders with straps, it just gives me a headache. Like if I'm hiking and the pack's riding wrong, I'll get like a headache for the day. So it's really important to me to have an, a, a, a comfortable pack that kind of curves over your shoulders and doesn't pinch anywhere. And this one does pretty well. I, I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, oh, I added a, uh, this is a SOG knife that I bought for like like 25 bucks or something like that and attached it. It's good. So it's right here so I can grab it. I had my other one down at my hip uh, before, but there was no connection point for it there. So I got this guy on there. That's a really nice knife. I like SOG products a lot. They're very well made. Um, well, that's the most important thing. They're very well made. Uh, so I got that guy tied on there. Um, it's sort of near my neck. So when I'm putting it back, I have to be a little careful about putting it back in there. Uh, it's also kind of a potential weapon for someone else to grab. But, you know, maybe I'll tether it or something. At the moment, though, it gives me access to it. Um, so the ergonomics are really nice. Um, the other issue with it, uh, and this is not a huge thing because this would be easy to fix, but these buckles uh, that go around your hip, actually this is the, the offending one, uh, they've got these really thin little pieces of plastic. Now, I don't know why they felt they needed to reinvent the buckle that way, uh, but these look like these are going to wear out and, and break. So this really looks to me like this is a, a weak point in the pack. Now, it hasn't broken yet, and maybe it just looks weak, but it's not. But when I look at that, and it's got these little spindly little pieces of plastic, it makes me wonder why they needed to reinvent the buckle and do it like that when there's lots of great buckle designs that don't have spindly little pieces of plastic. So it looks to me like it's going to break, but I don't know. So... You know, I'm going with it. In terms of the, the, the padding on the back and everything, it rides pretty nice and smooth. So I'm really happy with it. Like I said, it's a Tiburon uh, backpack made by Maxpedition. Um, a lot of great features, a lot of great places to put your gear. It, the retail uh, on it is, it's like a couple hundred bucks. Um, it seems a little high for what the backpack is compared to other things, but it's really well made. Uh, I don't know if it's made in the United States or not. I'm not sure. You could look that up. Uh, probably not. <laughs> but uh, it seems like good workmanship generally throughout the whole thing. I think this is going to be a pack for me for at least 10 years or so. And, and I've been pretty pleased with it. So I would highly recommend checking out all the Maxpedition products, especially if you're looking for a purse. Uh, they have a, a great selection of men's purses in here, uh, if that's... If that's uh, kind of your want. Uh, but if you want to get a real backpack, I would definitely recommend the Tipperon. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.